In the previous video, we showed that the set S is always going to be contained in its closure. So S is always contained in the closure of S. But in this video, we're going to show that the set S is equal to its closure if and only if S is closed. So remember, to prove an if and only if statement, to prove an if and only if statement, we have to both prove that supposing this, this were true, then we would have to show that that implies that this were true. That is to say, supposing that S is equal to its closure, then that implies that S is closed. And then we'd have to go the other direction. Supposing that S is closed, we have to show that that implies that S is equal to its closure. So let's go this direction first. Let's go this direction first. So that is to say, we're going to suppose, suppose S is equal to the closure of S. Now remember what we know about the closure of S. The closure of S is the intersection, the intersection of all sets G alpha such that G alpha contains S and G alpha is closed. So every possible set G alpha that you can think of such that it satisfies these two properties, that is that it contains S and that it's closed, every single set that you can think of, the closure of S is the intersection of all of those sets. That is, this is the collection of all, all such sets that satisfy these two properties. So this, this brings to mind the following, the following result, which I might prove in a separate video, but take my word for it for the purposes of this video that it's true. So the, here's the following result. The intersection, the intersection of any collection, of any collection, any collection of closed subsets of some metric space is also closed, is also closed. That is to say, the intersection, if you, if you let the set, if you let, remember, the intersection of anything, the intersection of a collection of sets, or the intersection of two sets, or the intersection of any number of sets, is itself a set. So I'm saying the set defined by the intersection of any collection of closed subsets of some metric space is also closed. So check this out. I have a collection of closed subsets. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's finite. I don't know if it's countably infinite. I don't know if it's uncountably infinite. I just know that it's a collection of closed subsets. And I and that's all I need to know for this result to work, or that is to use this result. Because look at what I can say here. Any collection of closed subsets, the intersection of, of that collection, the intersection of all of the sets in that collection is also closed. So check this out. I can say that the closure of S, although it might seem obvious, but we can now say for sure and with confidence, that the closure of S, that is to say S, the closure of S is closed. Is closed. But look at this. I'm supposing that S is equal to the closure of S. So therefore, remember, we're going to the right direction. We're trying to show that if the closure of S is equal to S, then that implies that S is closed. So since the closure of S is closed, and since the closure of S is equal to S, then I can say that S is closed. And I've just proven the right direction. So we've gone the right direction. Now let's go the left direction. That is to say from right to left, so we first suppose we first suppose that S is closed, and then we want to show, given that this information is true, that S is closed, we're going to show that S is equal to its closure. Okay, so suppose S is closed. Now, now, there's something I know about a closure. Remember, I'm gonna I'm gonna review this. This this comes into play again. It, there's something about the closure is it's it's the intersection of all the sets in the metric space of whatever these two, whatever the set S lives in. So whatever, excuse me, whatever metric space the set S lives in, it's the intersection, the, uh, the closure of S, it's the intersection of all of the closed sets in that metric space that contain S. But look at this. I know something about a set with respect to itself, with, in relation to itself. I know something about a set that in relation to itself. 
I know that S, of course, is equal to itself. And check this out. When two sets are equal to each other, that's the same as saying, that's the same or equivalent to saying. That's equivalent to saying. An if and only if statement is, another way to say an if and only if statement is um, equivalent to. So A is equal to B is equivalent to A is a subset of B and, and B is a subset of A. So if S is equal to S, that means that S is a subset of S and S contains S. That is, it contains itself. So check this out. S is closed and S contains S. So therefore, therefore, S is in our collection of closed subsets of the metric space E, which is the metric space that S lives in. So S is in the collection of closed subsets of the metric space E that contain S. Because S is a closed subset, and S contains, of course, itself by definition of set equality. So therefore, therefore, remember, oh, by the way, so check this out. So I've, we've already shown that S is a subset. I forgot to say this. So remember, if we want to show that S is equal to the closure of S, remember, we're supposing first that S is closed. We show, we show S is equal to the closure of S. In order to show a set equality, like I said here, we have to show that S is a subset of the closure. And then we also have to show that the closure is a subset of S. The closure of S is a subset of S. But we've already shown in the first part of this video, or the first part um, in, in, a, in, a, in the previous video, in the previous video, that S is contained in the closure of S. So all we have left to do is show that the closure of S is contained in S. So what that means is we have to show that if x if x is in the closure of s, then that implies that x is in s. So check this out. If x is in the closure of s, if x is in the closure of s, let me clue some room here. So if s if x if x if x is in the closure of s, then that implies that it's in the intersection of all of the sub closed subsets of the metric space E which I've called this collection of G alpha. Remember this collection of G alpha, I've defined to be the collection of all sets in the metric space E, all, excuse me, all closed sets in the metric space E that contain S. So that if X is in the closure of S, then that means X is in this intersection. And remember, if I'm in an intersection of a family of sets, I have a previous video that, that talks more about this, but I, if I'm in the intersection of a family of sets, then that means I'm in, I'm in each of those sets in in the family. That is to say, I'm in I'm in G alpha for every G alpha in this family, in this family, this collection of sets. And since S is in G alpha, this implies that X must be in S. And therefore I've shown that this implication holds true that whenever an X lives into the closure of S, it must also live in S, supposing that S is closed. So we've shown the direction from right to left, and therefore we've shown this if and only if statement to be true.